All right, hello everyone and welcome back. We're still playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, or Sun, Ultra Sun. And we are, we've swapped some of my team out. Last time I showed you the code that Fired Moth put together for it, which he did for himself and was gracious enough to share with me. There's not items out there. But it's a neat little code and I almost forgot. I should save that as something. Is yeah, five. Oh, enter continue. Five saves as Redris, and then it should be able to load. Uh, load is four. Yep, and it just yep. It'll always load the same, and I can change my number of Pokemon in the Pokedex or in the PC whenever. I have to battle him, but I have to battle the other trainers on this route, too. That is an item I can't get to yet. Hello, sir. Seeing kids like you journeying together with your Pokémon really soothes my soul. Thank you. I think I'll give you something. Ooh, so oh, Soothe Bell. Okay. Easy. Do. Give you. And that way we will end up getting a Pikachu sooner than later. Hello. You should really see this place during the day. Does it look like a rainbow? And a super potion. Alright, what have you got to say to me? I'll draw out the power of my partner Growlithe by giving it an item to hold. I can get behind that. Rising Star Joshua. And my chair is squeaking, sorry about that. I still need to replace it with things that have gone on in my life. I can't really do that right now. And Young Goose. Uh, yeah, Tackle. I have a ground attack, but it's not damaging, so... yeah. Young Goose, go! Growlithe fainted. And some things are going to level up quickly here. Some things. Here we are. Well, kind of here we are. I still want to find a crab roller. Uh, yep, we will attempt to tackle. I guess I should have done something else. Uh, that did good damage, and it's not a fighting type attack, so we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, changing after every Kahuna fight or challenge or trial seems like a good idea just so it mixes it up a lot more often. There we go. Now, let's see if a crab brawler is under this tree. Chesto berry. Cherry berry. And a peach berry. I heard something that sounded like a Pokemon, but no one came after me. So, okay. Uh, and that's the end of Route 3. Our local... Uh, Alright, what do you want? Sableye. 
don't have access to 10 carat hill yet, I don't think. So now I've got one person to duel, or duel, to battle. Which is this guy that can teach me roost. Hello. So you've defeated all the trainers along Route 3, have you? You have shaken me from my calm repose. My heart was still water, but no longer. Shall we start? Let's have a shoal-shaking battle. I accept. That's a good reply. Sure. We got this. Ugh. We were challenged by Ace Trainer Makana. Ace Trainer Makana sent out Slowpoke. Alrighty. Yeah. We will pluck and see if you have an item on you. Well, see if you have a berry. Oh, yawn. Okay. Very drowsy. If you're gonna do it like that. Oh. Can't become confused. Own tempo. And I'm asleep. Yeah, you're water type. That makes sense. Water gun. Ugh. Shock. I sh guess I should have led, yeah. Should have definitely led with Nasty Plot. Now we're just gonna end up with a bunch of sleeping Pokemon. I don't know why I wanted to switch to Trumbeak. It might be because Yon Goose is lower health. Let's get a little pluck in there. There we go. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Meowth grid level 8. It's good. Butterfree. Well, Butterfree, yeah, we're sticking with this. I'm gonna pluck those little... <laughs> I was gonna say something terrible, but we're gonna pluck the little butterfly wings off. Okay. Super effective. Okay, used Roost. That I'm fine with. Because if I can hit again and... Oh, you don't even heal enough. Okay. If I could get a crit off of this. Oh, Silver Wind. That's the one it used. I thought it was Ominous Wind for a second. But yeah. Alright, Youngus. Help? I don't know. It'd be funny if I faint here because I don't have a full team. And I'd end up having to redo it again and swap Pokemon again. Yeah. I didn't think it would do that to you. do here. Because I don't really want to use... You know what? Sure. Oh, Meowth found me an Ultra Ball. He has Pickup. Apparently. This is probably what I want to do. 
but the longer we keep letting this thing use silver wind, the more likely it is to be able to one-shot everything. Um, this Butterfree is just kicking my ass. That's what's going wrong. <sighs> because I don't have a particularly fantastic thing to hit him with. Because, actually, Pichu... I don't know if Pichu's super effective. I know Trumbeak is okay for pluck. But I need you to use, stop using Silverwind, for one. Okay, you, you're using Roost. I'm okay with that. Give me a crit and this will be all over. Yep, roost again. Again, I just need a crit, because this is what happened last time. Granted, my Trumbink wasn't fully healed. I don't think I have enough revives for this. There we go. We're better. Pluck is out damaging Roost. It's just that when Trumbeak was half health and Silverwind did a lot, and on its first Silverwind had a full stat buff, that hurt. That and Silverwind plus Roost was rough on me. But I think I out stamina its attacks. Alright, do I even have. No. Oh no. I don't. Okay. For now, we'll do this. Really? Okay, it used up. I thought it used up my awakening. And we'll see how far we can go with this. I'm probably gonna have to change up, because I ran out of revives. <laughs> I've already checked, yeah, I've already checked that. And we're back to Route 1? Yep. So we have to go take on the... Oh, hello, Rock Ruff. We want to go take on the Kahuna. Who is next? Kinda would like to heal first. To be honest. Actually, no. Trumbeak should be able to outdo this because he's mostly fighting type. Trumbeak would have this solo, or should. And we have to. And I've already decided that I'm going to the to heal after a Kahuna every time. Any or yeah, going to the Pokemon Center after Kahuna every time. Anyways, looking forward to seeing what moves you and your Pokemon will pour into your pour your soul into now that you've gone and cleared your first trial, Regis. It's true, I'm not a trainer, so I'm not sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been. But even I think it's a great achievement. Hello, Nebby. The Mele Mele Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting-type Pokémon to the fullest, yeah? Might not be a bad idea to work off those flying or psychic-type moves. Oh. Congratulations on clearing your trial in the Verdant Cavern. Good work. I suppose you're here to battle the Kahuna. You think you and Trumbink are ready for me, Redris? Definitely. I've been waiting for this. Oh! I've been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Hollow, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, Redris, you have been entrusted with the Sparkling Stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me your, you and your partner, Trumbeak. Show me, you, and your partner? 
Oh, show me. You and your partner Trumbeak and your team's full power. That's very awkwardly said. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. Be challenged by Alan Kahuna Hala. Send out Machop. Go Trumbeak. And pluck. Wait, was my entire team healed by... It looks like it. Okay, yeah. My entire team was healed before I came up here. Sure. Yeah, well, they do that way too often, I think. From Beak, through to level 18. Grimer for level 9. Cue to fly, level 12. Makuhita. Or Makuhita. Hita. Hello. And we pluck once more. Oh. Make out. I guess I could have put Roost on. To keep him into the fight. But also knowing that we're just moving. Hey, learn Fake Out. And Crab Brawler. We'll keep battling. If anything, I will end up moving to Pichu. For the water type advantage. Oh yeah, Z move. Use its full force Z move, all out pummeling. Because I. Yeah. Boom. Oh jeez, that did a lot of damage to Trumbeak. But, he survived it. And 194. Primer leveled up. Defeated Island Kahuna Hala. Whoa, well played. You received... Yep. I do need to make him two cannon. That requires levels. Results come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer, and what a fine Pokemon, too. Apple Coco, go. Oh, and our mighty Tapu Coco agrees. Hmm, perhaps Tapu Coco is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Huh. Oh, okay, I have to check on that later. Maybe, yeah. Except this Z Crystal. It allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. Yep. It is the fighting type Z Crystal. Grand trial complete. You obtained a Phytanium Z. Yep, yep. Observe, Redress, if you wish to use fighting type Z power, move your arm like this. Bend your hips and like this and pose. Yep. Now then, Redress, with this victory, you have cleared all the trials of Mele Mele Island, the first of Alola's islands. Mele Mele stamp is proof of your accomplishments with it. Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in trade. Hello, Bay. Moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but is very much real. As you continue your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokemon that you meet, both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. Oh. Tauros, hi. Oh there, Tauros. 
And this is where I get to use him as a ride Pokemon. I've got an idea. Oops, how about I set you up so you can ride Taurus? No reason why you shouldn't get to enjoy the island challenge too. Aww. I'll take care of all the little things you'll need in order to ride a Pokemon, Ridris. Gives me just all of this gear. Ride Pager, why don't you hop on there? And it gives you a free helmet, so you're safe. <laughs> the world looks a bit different from the top of Mighty Taurus, eh? See, Redris, here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride about on them. Yep. I will romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. When you use your ride page, a ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you wherever he may be. Alright. Congratulations, Redris. Your performance has been a delight ever since I first laid eyes on you at the trainer's school. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z-Power. Well, I know. Why not stop by the Alola Fo Photo Club for a commemorative photo? With Tauros, you can be down in Hollywood City in no time at all. Well, very well, then. Off on your island challenge you go. May the future bring you happiness. With a little help from Tauros, Redris... You'll be able to smash right through those big rocks on Route 1. Right, I got a little something for you, too. I'll swipe. That'll be useful. Nope. I know how false swipe works. You should totally check out the shopping mall and the Alola Photo Club, too. You know, the one Elman mentioned, he totally had the right idea. You should go to the Alola Photo Club and take a special photo to remember Queen your first grand trial. Yep. Talkity, talkity, talkity. Come on, Tutu, don't get go too easy on me now. Yep. Granddad and grandson having a quick fight. You're all getting so strong already, yeah. I can't wait to see how much more you'll grow. All right, time to get the boat ready, Lily. You gonna help me clean it? Cool. And we will deal with the rocks when we come back through because I need to catch certain Route 1 things and go through Route... There we go. This is what I needed. So we're going to heal up again because I've just decided after every trial and Kahuna we're healing and doing the thing where I switch Pokemon. I'm not going to bring up my desktop again for this one. You'll just have to trust me. So I lose number six and number two and I get to add number four from the PC. So number four... One, two, three, four. Okay. And then move with number six, who didn't really get to stick in for very long. And then I lose number two. So you get put in. We'll swap you for Diglett for now. And that's all. Of level 18, 17, 16. And yeah, that's fun. Also, held item we're taking. Nope, not use and give. Just wanted to take the Ultra Ball that you got me. Alright, so we move forward. Well, sort of. And I believe I'm able to find Rockruff now. 
That is a pick. That is a pick a pack. I'm checking Route One again. Uh, south of Iki Town, blocked by rocks. Yep. Rock Rough, I need to catch two of you. We'll be here until I get that. And everyone else is leveling up a bit. Oh, Big J Sp Spide? Spade? How are you doing today? And thank you for the follow. It's the grass there. Okay. We'll get there. Anytime. That is cool of you. Oh, Munchlax, hi. You probably berry. One bite. I <sighs> oh, have leftovers. I was considering just going ahead and catching Munchlax just to take his leftovers away. <laughs> Uh, nah. I will get a leftovers later. Big levels, cool. Come on. I would like one of your finest rock roughs, please. That is another Munchlax. Does Grubbin attract something, or is Munchlax just a high spawn here? No, it's not. It's 10%. Hmm. Oh, fine. Sorry about my chair still. Oh, you also have... Munchlax always come with... Eh, probably not. Let's just go bug bite again. Come on, defense curl. Yeah, defense curl mixed with that could actually make Munchlax kind of a rough fight out here. Depending. Yep, because you heal again, but not as much as I damaged you. And you called for help. And you didn't get any. I'm sorry for that. There we go. Primer level. Uh, my starter was um, Poplio for Pachirisu. Or not Pachirisu. Uh, or Brion now. How do we... I like Thunder Wave Paralysis over Confusion, I think, for this. Pikachu, nope. No evolution. But please, Rock Rough, if you would. There you are. And Grubbin. Yeah. Okay, that was close. Let's help, it didn't appear. That is fine. And we get Rock Rough in, hopefully, a Pokeball. One, two, Hey, there we go. 
And at this point, realizing that the rest of the Pokemon around are probably level 13, 14, I might go ahead and put some of these lower leveled Pokemon out front so they can get more experience in the long term. There you go, Rock Rough. Uh, new. But we do have one Rock Rough. Hmm. Oh, we'll hold for now still. We'll get them to level 12. Now we need the second Rock Ruff. That is Bonsly. I used flail, yeah. Oh, rock type. I don't, I, don't, mm, I don't really have anything specific to deal with you, I don't think. Bug bite. That's why I used copycat. That's not bad. Bug bite's not gonna do too much against me. Ow. Granted, he's already decently hurt. Did I? Yeah, I messed that up. Oh. Does it have to be a specific area? I didn't realize that, and I did definitely miss that when you were talking about it. Yeah, the midday and the midnight forms come from leveling up at day and night. I'm not sure where you're getting the va the pony can. Sh yeah. Oh, you can get the dusk form. You can actually get the dusk form in it has both. Oh, it just has both like and rock. Rock Ruff only involves in specific games? Oh, it is specific. I thought it said Sun, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, but yeah. Okay. So I only need the one. That is good to know. So I can get the other evolution from you, or I can catch the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, in next generation, I'm going to need to get myself a Lycan Rock to be able to... Oh, jeez. To be able to get the midday form that I just found out about being able to do that's not just an event, because in Sun and Moon, it was just an event. I go at level 10. Ah, uh, Mudslap? Mudslap. Yes. Oh, Metal Claw against Metal Claw. Let's do it. Low kick. Okay. I didn't know you did that, but yeah, that would be also nice. You get the own tempo rock rough. And with that, it's just at any point, right? Oh, when leveled up from 5 p.m. to 5.59. So as long as it is still at a certain point. I'm also getting my butt kicked here. Oh yeah, I should have thought about that. You have a fighting type move. That just means I don't need another Rock Ruff, which is good. Which is good. 
That's fine. Well, route one is 100% done. Yeah. Which is good for me. Ooh, found a nugget. Also, we're going to end this episode on the YouTube side here while I save. We'll be right back with the next one tomorrow 